Okay, my friends, I have a battle here against BK Gaming uh, 72 for my uh, Twitch live stream. He's a new challenger, and um, he really likes Mag Mortar, and he wanted me to use Mag Mortar. I'm like, dude, I'm the guy who you're fighting. I don't know if I should be taking suggestions from my opponent, but I did because you know what? I never use Mag Mortar, and he has a Mag Mortar too. So it's a very Mag Mortar fasty battle here. So I'm gonna go ahead and lead with Raikou or Raikou or however you want to pronounce it, and. Uh, yeah, he's going to go ahead and leave with Scizor, so, um, this is a interesting matchup. I know that I really aren't, I, I mean, I'm not really fearing, obviously, a, uh, billet punch. So I stay in, and he ends up just going for the U-turn, which actually ends up doing, um, an annoying chunk of damage to me. He's able to, uh, go ahead and switch out into his Mag Mortar now, so, uh, that's a thing. And I'm just going to go ahead and Volt Switch now. I'm pretty sure, unless it's Scarfed, I mean, unless it's Scarfed, I know I can outspeed it, so... Gonna go ahead and do that and see what he does. I'm gonna go to my own Mag Mortar because I'm obviously predicting a fire move here. And he does indeed go for a flamethrower, which I do resist and, uh, you know, do some decent damage. I'm gonna go for a focus blast, kind of predicting a switch, I think, but uh, he ends up just staying in and that's gonna be able to take out his Mag Mortar, so uh, that's pretty cool. So he's gonna go into Rotom Wash now, and I really, uh, this is a dangerous Pokemon for me. I don't really have a Pokemon, like, if he predicts correctly, I'm pretty much screwed. So, uh,. Yeah, this Mag Mortar I'm using, I'm pretty sure is meant for a Sun Team. It has Solar Beam. I'm like, you know what, YOLO, if he doesn't, uh, you know, go for that Hydro Pump, and uh, there you go. He tried to go for the will o -Wisp, I guess, predicting the switch. I'm going to get the Solar Beam off. It's going to be on a Gengar, so uh, it's, it is resisted, but it still does a lot to that Gengar. So, yeah, I actually ended up using Solar Beam without the Sun. Probably the first time I've done that, or if I, even my opponent has done sh something like that. Um, on one of my competitive battles, so definitely an interesting little tidbit there. Um, anyway, he's going to go for the Shadow Balls. I go out into my Scrafty here, and uh, yeah, he's going to try to Destiny Bond me here with Gengar. It's actually one of the moves that are nerfed uh, in Sun and Moon, according to the uh, data mines and leaks. Uh, if you don't know that Destiny Bond has a consecutive chance to fail, similar to, I guess, uh, Protect and Endure, uh, which is kind of interesting. I don't really think it needed to be nerfed, but uh, whatever. So I'm going to go into Soliopede now, and uh, yeah, he's going to try it for the Destiny Bond again. I pretty much knew, know he's going to go for the Destiny Bonds here, so I'm just going to go into that, get the Protect off uh, to get my free Speed Boost, and uh, yeah, he does try to go for that. And this is the moment I realize I don't actually have anything to even neutrally affect this Gengar, so I'm just going to go for a Poison Jab. Uh, I guess it's actually X4 resisted, but I ended up critting it and killing it, so I was pretty lucky on my part uh, before he could get that Destiny Bond off on me, so... I feel kind of bad there, but uh, now I am super fast, right guys? Uh, at least that's a thing, and he just goes into Garchomp, which I really have no chance of killing, but I'm just going to go for the Mega Horn. It is pretty strong. Uh, unfortunately, he does have that rough skin, and uh, he also has the Rocky Helmet, so I'm going to be hurting myself a lot there, especially with my Life Orb, and now I just got an Earthquake, and uh, Sol uh, Soliopede. Actually, now why do I keep saying Soliopede? No, it's Solipede, right? There's no O in it. My Solipede dies. And, uh, yeah, he's gonna try to Dragon Claw on my Skarmory. Not really, uh, doing a whole lot. Not really sure what he's thinking there. It's... Just Skarmory is definitely a, uh, physical tank. And I resisted on top of that, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and set up my Stealth Rocks, as he now goes for a Stone Edge, which at l is at least neutral. It still doesn't really do a whole lot, as I'm just gonna go for the Brave Bird here, trying to, uh, take out this Garchomp. Of course, he is gonna, of course, get his Recoil and stuff on me, so... It is going to do some significant damage to my Skarm, but I'm, going to be, I'm, I'm able to take out the Garchomp, so uh, that's not bad either. And, uh, yeah, recoil. That's quite a lot of recoil there. But at least I have my Leftovers recovery, right? Anyway, in comes his Tyranitar, which I'm pretty sure is his Mega. He saw the Brave Bird, so he has to be pretty confident I don't carry the Iron Head, so I guess that's the reason he's uh, now comfortable coming in. And, uh, yeah, going, he's going to go ahead and Mega Evolve into Mega Tyranitar, as I believe I'm just going to try to Roost here, or no, I think I Whirlwind here uh, to avoid him from setting up. He's just going to actually take the opportunity to set up his own Stealth Rocks. I was afraid of a Dragon Dance, which is why I went for the Whirlwind, so, uh, yeah, I didn't want that to happen. So, he goes out into Rotom here, and that's not obviously the uh, thing I wanted to be switched in, because this guy obviously does have an electric move. And, uh, yeah, I just yeah, don't really think that's a good thing to take on my Skarmory, or actually, even a Hydro Pump at this point would kill me, so... I'm gonna need to actually just stay in, because I don't want to risk it. That's what I do. I do have Digger's B I could have went into, but like I said, I was kind of afraid he was just gonna go for the Hydro Pump, which would kill Skarmory anyway, and I just didn't really want to ri uh, risk switching it in. I guess Skarm kind of did everything it needed to do already, so... I can just do that, so... 
Yeah. In comes my choice, Bandit Diggersby. Now, I can't hit him with the Earthquake here because he has Levitate. But I'm hoping that a Choice Bandit Return from Diggersby will do some damage. And look at that work. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is a bulky Rotom, too. It's just, uh, he gets taken out in one hit, not even a crit. Pretty nice. As he goes out into his Scissor again, probably Choice Bandit. Gonna Bullet Punch me, hoping to take me out. Not quite, sir. I'm gonna be able to get a return on this thing, too. And despite the resistance, it is gonna be able to kill. Thanks to Diggersby's awesome attack due to pure power, or is it huge power? One of the two. It's basically the same ability, anyway. And, uh, yeah, now he's gonna go into Tyranitar, which is probably what he should have went to anyway. I guess maybe he didn't realize I was, uh, locked in a return, maybe? So, that could be it. I'm just gonna go to Magmortar here, pretty much as Death Fodder, uh, so I can get a safe switch into something else. Which, I think I go right back into Diggersby, so I can switch it up to Earthquake. But I had to sack something, so down goes Magmortar. And, uh, yeah, I believe I do go into Diggersby? No, I do- Oh, okay, I go in Scrafty to finish it off. Um, because I do have high jump kick, even if I- end up missing or he ends up killing me i still have of course diggers be so good game there bk gaming was a fun little first match hope to see you again on my stream soon and today's question of the day is have you uh, been keeping up with pokemon generations and if so what is your favorite episode uh pokemon generations is a spin-off anime that actually is video game related it's uh pretty much summing up all and uh, pretty much filling in the holes of uh, a lot of the in-game, um, in pretty much things that don't appear on screen. For example, I believe one of the first episodes, probably still my favorite, is um, taking a look at Blue's run through the Elite Four. Uh, obviously, it's something that appeared off-screen in um, in uh, the Pokemon games, and I believe most of these Pokemon Generations uh, anime videos that are, by the way, is free on YouTube. So go ahead and check them out. Um, but yeah, I believe most of them are just kind of filling in the blanks of things um, that the player didn't necessarily see on screen in during, you know, normal gameplay. So re uh, leave a comment about that and see you guys again next time. Later.